Oh dear, here we go. Hey folks! I am more nervous for this child than a one-legged man in a butt kicking contest. Let's put it this way, with this attitude, you have a 50% chance of disappointment. But your child is 100, so how's that for food for thought? Wipe your face with those factoids, okay? Hey guy! Now hold on just a minute, maid. You are quite simply a cutie. For this one, you're opening up a tropic can of whoop-ass on the bad husband set in this example. Other orange puns. I salute you. <laughs>
but this is not growth, okay? This is grooming. Please, say toodles. Being a stay-at-home mom is not a job whatsoever, it's a privilege. <laughs> do you know how many single mothers out there actually have jobs and have to come home and then do your job? You just described someone with two jobs! I was laid off of work for four months and I had to stay home and it's the easiest shit I've ever done in my life. Based on the way you phrased this and the fact that I checked your socials and you have zero mention of having children, you don't have children, so not comparable. I can do all the daily responsibilities that come with taking care of a house in no time. And then other than that, all you have to do is watch your kid. I am more frustrated than a mosquito sucking on a statue. Just because you can, that doesn't mean it's not difficult. And I'm not knocking stay-at-home mothers. I have respect for them, and I honestly think the world needs more of them because it's good for the kid. Oh, so you respect them, but you diminish their stress and effort without ever experiencing it yourself? What? You can't take a nap at a full-time job. You can't watch TV at a full-time job. You have someone watching your every move at a full-time job demanding that you do what they say. Every single parent with a pulse will tell you that you just described parenting. Look, I don't have kids either, but I grew up with three kid siblings, a stay-at-home mom, and a stay-at-home stepmom. And I witnessed firsthand the stress that comes with maintaining an entire house, Olympic diving across the kitchen to save your child from putting its hand in the garbage disposal 50 times a day, listening to constant screaming and meltdowns, and most importantly, trying not to cause irrevocable physical and psychological harm to an innocent human being who didn't ask to be here. So let's not play contrarian to things that we have zero experience in. All right, whatever, my merch is here, the follow button is somewhere. Hi, Caroline. Male constituent! <laughs> She's fragile. Come here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, my. I am happier than a mosquito ordering a Bloody Mary. Are you crying? <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> you tell him, Nate! She's beautiful, man. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> oh, bless her, Lord. Oh, Mom. What are you, a cherub? How are you this nice? Oh, I want to kiss her so bad. Don't dare. I will not. You're so nice, you make a YouTube apology video for your coffee table every time you bump into it. Get honey roasted! Anyway, great work, Nate. And congrats to you guys. I really don't know how you're this nice in 2024. I, I don't get it. Here's another huge female privilege that no one talks about. Ladies, I'm sure you had a good cry recently. Life overwhelmed you for a minute and you had some emotion that you just needed to release. When it was over, you felt great. Men have their own version of this. You see, men don't need a good cry. They need a good angry blow up. My fellow male! Guys and gals do both of these! You express your bottled up emotions with tears. We express ours by yelling I am more befuddled than a zebra scanning a barcode. What are you even saying? Not crying for men has been scientifically proven to create a weaker immune system cardiovascular disease, and hypertension. Scholastic receipts! For some reason, this very normal and natural expression of anger by men has been labeled as toxic. No, it's only a problem when it's extreme. That goes for both anger and crying. And anger is usually more threatening of the two. You never hear a person strangling someone in a fit of weep. It's the disallowing of men to blow off this minor anger that leads to truly dangerous angry men. Oh, so it's someone else's fault. Okay. Your emotions aren't bottled up. They're vacuum sealed, like astronaut food. Oh, fell off. <laughs> oh, I feel like basketballing right now. <laughs> Why are you making me do this in a public park right now, man? Am I the asked my wife to help with the kids. A while back, I received a nice bonus, and after a bit of discussion, it was decided I'd use my bonus for myself. I managed to stay within budget, but I booked myself a two-week vacation to Hawaii. Okay. <laughs> this meant Lisa had the kids at home full-time while I was gone. For two weeks, three children under five. Fella! When I returned, Lisa was exhausted, and I initially agreed to take the kids for the afternoon on Saturday so she could have some time to herself and unwind. Now, well, I want to unwind my fist. Look at this. I think I've got Arthur Tunnel. My cousin ended up inviting us to a barbecue the on same God. day, Holy and shit. my cousin is one of my best friends, and I knew other childhood friends would be there. Okay, it's time to become a taquito. Lisa wasn't sure about going, but I told her everyone would be happy to see her and the kids, 
Plus, I'd watch them so she can relax and have a drink or two. Day of the barbecue, the kids were out of control, crying, screaming, fighting, not listening, or following direction. Mm -hmm. I repeatedly walked over to Lisa to ask her to give me a hands with the kids. Each time she declined and said, I agreed to watch them, and this is her downtime. I am more nervous than a fire hydrant in front of a house full of huskies. I ended up yelling across the yard, for once, can you please get off your- For once? Ah! For once, that's not even the worst part. For once, can you please get off your f and help me with our kids? Lisa stomped over to me and started whisper yelling that I was I was breaking my promise to let her have time to relax. She didn't want to be here and feels I basically and feels I basically made her go. I tried explaining that these people and our people I don't see very often and to please not make a scene. Don't make a scene. You directed the scene and start in it. Here's your red carpet, guy. Unfortunately, a few people overheard us, and we caught a few comments about Lisa being a lazy mom who only wanted to pawn the kids off on me, slash she's taking advantage of me. Well, aren't you two a team of turds in a toilet? Lisa burst into tears and yelled at the people stand standing nearby that, ma that made the comments for them to all go to hell, told me to basically fuck myself, yeah. took the car and left. All right, I need a uh, tub of ibuprofen after that. Here's my merch. Okay, bye. Jesus.